Hi, Jeff here. I started getting uh, this error message on my uh, Windows uh, machine once I upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11. I uh, couldn't quite understand why I was getting this. I had been able to do this uh, for years and years, all the way back to when I was running XP uh, on my machine. Um, a little bit about my network. Uh, I've got a couple Linux boxes uh, running uh, Ubuntu. And uh, I run something on them called Samba, S-A-M-B-A. It basically makes the Linux box talk to Windows box using the SMB protocol, a server message block, so that I can share folders and files uh, from my Linux box to other devices on my network that are Windows compatible. So I start getting this error message. Um, I'd done some research on the internet because uh, um, I looked at something called a host file on my Windows box and it looked fine. Uh, a, a host file is uh, um, a file that Windows uses to do name resolution locally uh, before it sends out a request to the internet to a DNS machine. Uh, try to resolve uh, the name you're using to an IP address. Everything looked fine there. So I started digging a little bit deeper on the internet and everybody was talking about going into group policy and enabling this and disabling that and run this command and uh, go into the registry. And I just didn't want to get into doing all of that. It had to be something a little simple. So after I upgraded to Windows 11 and essentially broke the networking portion, I went into settings and looked at the standard settings that they tell you to enable file sharing and uh, discovery and all of that, and everything looked fine. Just could not get to my uh, Linux boxes. So I turned my focus then back on to uh, the host file. And on a Windows box, the host file resides over here in the right-hand window. Uh, wherever you've got Windows installed, you go to the Windows folder, System32, Drivers, Etsy. And there's a file in there called Hosts. Notice it's not host.txt, it's just host. That's important. And I looked at it, and everything looked fine. Uh, I downloaded the host file to my Linux box and ran a couple programs on there, VI and OD, to look closer at what was in that file and uh, huh, found out that there were some uh, hidden characters in there uh, that weren't supposed to be in there. And so Windows was going to this uh, file to try to resolve home server in my case, uh, but the file was corrupt, so it just ignored it uh, and uh, gave me that error message. So I thought, well, I got to fix this host file. Um, basically, what I do in Windows is I run Notepad whenever I edit a uh, file at all. And I run it as administrator because I want to have the credentials to be able to uh, make a change to a system file. So run Notepad. Uh, Notepad doesn't put any special characters uh, in the file like WordPad for instance, or Word, where they load up uh, special characters for font, color, and all of that kind of stuff. So there's some things they could put in a file that you might not be able to see. Now, did the upgrade to Windows 11 somehow do that? I don't know. Uh, all I know is I looked at the file, and there were some characters in there that weren't supposed to be there. So... These two lines here are the two lines I typically have added to the host file to give me access to my Linux boxes. Basically, it's the IP address followed by a space, followed by the name that you want to refer to that device as. And there's directions up here uh, preceded by the uh, hash mark uh, comments, basically. Talk to you about how to do all of that. So by deleting these two lines, going back in and using Notepad and hand typing all of that in um, and then saving the file, my problems went away. So if you like this video and uh, you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe.
click on the subscribe button. I appreciate that. And I'll be talking to you again soon.